good morning children so for ninth standard we are going to see the first lesson that is animal kingdom suppose if you got this textbook you would have see from page number 199 it's in the page number 199 living things can be broadly classified into two that is plant kingdom and animal kingdom we will study about plant afterwards we have to go for animal kingdom animals you know unicellular animal and multicellular for animal kingdom it can be divided into five categories so what are the categories so let it be as it is so how they are arranged because there is 1.5 million of animals so arrangement of animals is a great problem to the scientist and they are arranged according to their habit internal anatomy taxonomy that is classification everything based on the structure habit and characteristics they arrange them according to their level so this is known as what classification that is lot of species are there how we got religion caste creed like that animals also got a lot of lot of lot of animals are the, they are classified into categories the classification is known as taxonomy so what is ta taxonomy classification of animals according to their habit characters this is known as taxonomy animal kingdom further we can divide them into five first one is monera and the second one is protista third one is fungi and the fourth one is plantae fifth one is animalia so what are the five orders i say monera protista fungi plantae and animalia monera that is microbes we have studied in 8th standard so that is bacteria for example study about bacteria and virus is known as monera that is prokaryotic animals the protista that is about protozoan animals protozoan you know that is amoeba plasmodium this and all comes under protista and fungi that is yeast and plantae almost all the plants from unicellular plants to multicellular plants animalia animals the classification of this animals kingdom is known as what taxonomy not only animal kingdom even plants animal all together classification of living things are known as taxonomy taxonomy is classification of living things so further how can we classify them there are five orders the taxonomy we cannot give the name easily so we have to see the kingdom that is this is known as hierarchy kingdom phylum class order family genus and the next one is species so either it is an animal or plant it can be classified under these categories the first one is species second one is genus third one is family order class phylum kingdom if it is animal we have to write animal kingdom plant means plant kingdom phylum everything is there so species and genus together all the animals or plants are named by one genus and species genus means such, such a broad elaboration is there genus so nearly 10 or 15 animals or plants together they grouped under one genus and the genus is only the 10 to 15 animals will be there and species they are only one kind so one kind matondam so genus may be 10 or 15 uh, 
this is species this this should be in capital letter this this is in small letter for example uh, cockroach we are saying americana periblanita so this is genus name it's in capital this one in small letter so for animal ko name irundha that is it should certainly consist of one genus and species genus must be in capital and uh, so species name should be in the small letter this is the classification of kingdoms either it is plants or animal whatever it may be so after classify we have to see the structure of the animal that is level of the animal so that is level of organization next we have to see level of organization what's the meaning of organization arranging the organs we would have studied in the lower classes no cells cells of the same kind become tissues tissues as, uh, of the same kind becomes organ organs together organ system organ system it is one system for example take our digestive system and the digestive system edukka poninga nu sonna it does not consist only one organ it has a group of organ mouth from the mouth what is the tongue tongue la ungalku vandu buccal cavity and then salivary glands and then esophagus food pipe then it has enters with the stomach larger intestine smaller intestine rectum anus all the organs together make one system that is known as what organ system this is page number 199 okay so first we have to see organization how we have to organize first we have to see the structure of the animals that is symmetry nama structure nu solra actually what's the meaning of it symmetry first level of organization level what level it is either it is unicellular or multicellular unicellular is a one celled animal that cannot be seen by the naked eye only microscope only we have to see this is multicellular animal so first we have to see the level adu enna level la irukku either it is unicellular or multicellular next one symmetry that is uh, structure of the animal either it is made maybe radial symmetry or bilateral symmetry radial suppose if an organism cuts from the thing from the top to bottom abbi even a renda straight a cut aachu sonna adu bilateral so only certain part can be cut like that after that it will be dissected that is radial symmetry so for example of radial symmetry we can say hydra bilateral symmetry frog these are the structure how the how it is arranged when it intersect how it will be so adha da namak enna solreenga radial cells radial and radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry next to the level symmetry we have to go for the gem layers that is body covers so maybe one some of the animals are covered by only one layer some maybe two layer ipo namme paaka poninga na engons abo engons will be covered by three layers of gem so so our human body is covered by when when we are in the mother's womb it will be covered by three layers so these are the gem layers the gem layers may be either one or two so only one means there are two layers whatever it may be ectoderm endoderm ecto means outside cover endo inside cover so in the organism me outside or cover irukum inside one cover both the layers are there ecto layers and endo layers ecto outside endo inside so further we can say they may be dip, diploblastic triploblastic this layer ectoderm ectoderm and endoderm i say no ecto layers and endoderm layers so that may be two covers in the diplo nu solreenga more than two covers means we have to say triplo layers so these are the things three things we have to consider while arranging the animals classification and how, how it has to be first we have to arrange them unicellular level we have to see next to the level you have to see the structure that is whether either it is radial or bilateral then you have to see the germ layers what are the germ layers okay then further we can divide them into then we are coming to the animal kingdom whether it belongs to vertebrate or invertebrate so vertebrate invertebrate both you know invertebrate and the name itself we can say vertebrate it have no tocord that is backbone here that is absent no backbone 
they cannot stand erect like us they they can be crawling only always abbi balance da irukum nammala pole straight ah nikkamudiyad so vertebrate animal invertebrate animal this lesson we have to see what are the divisions under invertebrate what are the division under vertebrate so invertebrate alone how many kinds are there eight kingdoms eight classification is there invertebrate ku mattume ungalku ethana classification eight we got all the specimens in our lab but because it's made up of glass i cannot bring it and show to you when the regular classes start i'll show the thing so we have to see now invertebrate in the regular classes we'll see so what are the kingdoms here first one porifera this is the i said no eight what are the eight first let me say first first one is porifera second one it cylindrata third one is platy helminthes helminthes hmm? and the fourth one is ascalminthes analida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata so under the invertebrate we have to see seven that is porifera cylindrata platyhelminthes ascalminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca and echinodermata let us see porifera so body of the animals are made up of pores small pores so this porifera the body can be full of this this no animal or cell cell body will be full of they have full of pores mostly they are living in the fresh water only so what is the habitat of the animal water either it is mainly they are in the marine water or fresh water only porifera example we can see porifera is the first animal so we cannot differentiate the sex we cannot say whether it is male or female both the sex will be in the same thing only porifera cylindrata platyhelminth still that we cannot differentiate them into sex that is both can be in the same so they are known at they are known as homophorate sorry uh, both the sex organ present in that that is hermaphrodite when the sex organ separate only we have to say homo homo means one both will be separated porifera cylindrata platyhelminthes we cannot differentiate them now almost all the animals are water animals only we got the specimens i said already porifera it is found in the water the full body is what uh, they have the small pores they have the water vascular system vascular system very beginning i say in the seventh standard you have studied vascular system this is an important system in the case of plants we are saying what xylem and phloem they are conducting food and water so what is required for the plants water water and minerals they are conducted from the root to the top of the plant that is xylem and phloem so a phloem for mineral particles xylem for water the same like whereas for the animals vascular system is that is circulatory system that is blood vessels arteries veins capillaries these are the blood vessels so vascular system means in the plants it is xylem and phloem in the animals it is arteries veins and capillaries here porifera the vascular system is water vascular system because nothing is separated uh, circulated there except water so porifera is water circulatory system it has example we can say starfish have you seen starfish so this is radial symmetry ninga enga cut pannalo ore pola dhaan irukum this is radial symmetry this is porifera porifera example is starfish next one you have to see cylindrata cylindrata and the cilium itself you know there is a body cavity around the body cavity there should be tentacles 
So, for example, we can see Hydra. Hydra like this. But we do not have Hydra. Hydra cannot be seen. Uh, this can be seen under the microscope only. But we got jellyfish. So, this is known as what? Coulomb. On the, from the coulomb, the tentacles begin. The tentacles are the locomotory organ here. So, this is an example of cylindrata. This is bilateral symmetry. In the body of carpening, even a two of cut this is bilateral, bilateral symmetry. Example, what I said, uh, tentacles, but in our specimen, we got jellyfish. Jellyfish, male or umbrella polar, fish or uh, tentacles, other, other kung organs or moving organ. That is under the thing. It has two layers only. So, this animal is what? Two layer in the end, so can diploblastic. Three layer means triploblastic. Two means die, die two. Okay, yeah, diploblastic. And it has the entire body is covered by the tentacles like this. Hydra is an example. I said no, the same way we got jellyfish in the specimen. Hydra also example for that. They got a special type of cells. Now we are seeing what I said, cylindrates. They have the tentacles. Special type of cells are they that is nematocyst. They are the stinging organ. When, he, when any danger it faces, it has to use this and make the prey to paralyze. Although the other organism danger, it has to engulf the organism in prey means what? Food. If it is say like that, it will use this nematocyst and make the organism to paralyze, then it will swallow as it is. So, what are the special characters of cylindrates? It has tentacles to move and it has a special uh, singing organ that is nematocyst. The body is two layers, so it is diploblastic. These are the characters of cylindrates. Example, what I said? Jellyfish. Next, we have to see platyhelminthes. So, on seeing the name, we know that body surface is very flat. Be flat, we cannot see what is head, what is tail, like that. All together, the organism seems to be like that. Example, I said liver fluke. Liver fluke, we can say in Tamil, I don't know what we ought to say for that. Okay, this is, it is covered by three layers. So, this is triploblastic. Platyhelminthus, triploblastic, flat surface, body is fully flat. In Tamil, we have to say, Rumba Tate are conserving a liver fluke. It can see in our livers of the animals. Example, what is it? Liver fluke. This is also hermophore, right? Uh, it has flame cells. So, every organism got one special part. Your cylindrate, I say, nematocyst is there. But platyhelminthus, we can see plain cell. This is the special feature of platyhelminthus. So, first one we say porifera, it is porous, body is porous, vascular system is water vascular system. Cylindrates, the body has a cavity, cavity is surrounded by <coughs> tentacles, and there is a special stinging cell that is nematocyst. This is diploblastic. Third one is, I say, platyhelminthus, it has Three layers, triploblastic. It has a flat surface. Uh, example, what I said, liver fluke. Liver fluke we got in our specimen also. They have the cell, special cell that is flame cells. So, remaining things that is for from muscle menthus, anelida, arthropoda, mollusca, and echinodermata will continue in other class.